Tonight, TV6 investigates about $1.5 billion. That's how much money will go to the state of Michigan to fight the opioid crisis. As we reported last night, our national investigative team and KFF Health News found it's not always clear how that money will be used. Some UP counties have already spent some of this money, while others are working on a plan. In part two of this investigation, TV6's Vinnie LaVia talks with a state health official and three UP counties to hear how much they'll get and how they could use these payments to reverse the ongoing trend of opioid overdoses that many times result in death. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel and communities across the state won around $1.5 billion in settlement money from opioid manufacturers, distributors, and retailers. Jared Wellahodsky is an assistant administrator for the Michigan Office of the Chief Medical Executive. He says this money is being split 50-50 between the state and local governments. Which are all counties and any city or township with a population of more than 10,000 are eligible for their own individual payments. Communities get paid directly from the companies that settled in these lawsuits. These include pharmaceutical company Johnson & Johnson and drug distributors Cardinal Health, McKesson, and Amerisource Virgin. Wellahodsky says the state will spend its settlement money on opioid use prevention, harm reduction, treatment, and recovery. He adds there have been thousands of overdose reversals across the state since opening a naloxone portal in 2018. Our statewide portal that community organizations can order from. Uh, we have over 6,600 uh, reported uh, overdose reversals from uh, from Naloxone order through this portal. We are working on improving transportation services to people uh, that have a substance use disorder be able to receive services. Uh, we have an upcoming request for proposals for recovery housing. Wella Hodsky tells me communities receiving these payments are only able to use this money to combat the opioid crisis. Those criteria are outlined in this document, known as Exhibit E. Here in Marquette County, Health Department Officer Jerry Masana says the county has not yet finalized a spending plan for its settlement money, but the county health department is discussing ways that money could be spent. Which includes education, uh, uh, prevention programs in the high school, uh, to create a, uh, um, a fatality review committee. So it's basically based around prevention. Now this is just one of maybe a couple of different programs that are going to be considered. Masana adds the health department wants to finalize its plan by January 1st. He notes Marquette County has already gotten $340,000 of the more than $3.3 million it will get over the next 20 years. My feeling is, you know, this is money for... 18, 20 years, if you keep at it and keep talking about prevention and risks, eventually, hopefully, you will make an impact. Masana says the county plans to spend about $100,000 in settlement money next year. Right now, Masana says the county has substance abuse prevention programs in many of its middle schools and wants to use settlement money to bring programs here to high schools. Masana says the county already has other programs catered to people suffering from opioid addiction. We also have a pretty robust harm reduction program to uh, try to identify people that are using and get them into treatment or at least refer them to treatment or help reduce the risks. In Menominee County, Administrator Jason Carview says it will receive more than $500,000 over the next 18 years. Carview explains how the county wants to spend that money. Try to focus on programs or services that can sort of, you know, stop this upstream, you know, before people get to that point where you know, they're going through the court system and they need intervention there or they need inpatient or outpatient treatment or services. Carview says Menominee County does not currently have many services specifically to prevent opioid overdose deaths. So this money will allow us to hopefully either expand whether it's our you know, internal services that we provide, whether it be through the courts or through the law enforcement, um, through the sheriff's department, or if it's 
contracting with a third party to be able to provide some kind of inpatient, outpatient services. Carview says before anything is finalized, the county board plans to gather a group of experts to come up with a spending plan. In Gogibic County, Sheriff Ross Solberg says it will get more than $400,000 over 15 years. So far, Solberg says this funding let Gogibic County work with Wayne State University to start a medical assisted treatment program in its county. County jail. It screens individuals on intake when they get arrested. If they meet the program, they get entered into our MAT program. And what the MAT program is, is a combination of medication and counseling and reintegration back in the community um, to help these uh, individuals suffering with opioid syndrome. Part of the funding lets the jail give inmates who are addicted the medication they need and staff extra nurses in the jail when necessary. Solberg says the goal is to get people sober from opioids in jail before they are released. We have a, in my opinion, a very um, a, a good recovery coach, we call it, that comes into our jail and meets with these individuals. And she provides counseling and she also helps him reintegrate back into the community, which is a program we didn't have before. Solberg adds the county already has a drug court. He says this gives extended probation periods to people that qualify, which lets them wean off opioids, alcohol, and other drugs. If you're successful at certain portions of the program, you're able to get a driver's license back and go, go to work and uh, different programs. Solberg says police officers in Gogibic County now carry Narcan, which has helped stop overdose deaths on scene. He adds the county will also give free Narcan to anyone who wants it, all with the goal of saving lives and stopping overdoses in their tracks. Vinny LaVia, TV6 Investigates. We have a full list of how much settlement money each county in Michigan is getting. There is also a list of which companies will pay settlement money and how much. You can find that on this story at UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app.